Cheers and welcome to Bitter Reality Brewing. Yes, we're doing the pH meter calibration for the Eric Hill pH meter. Yep. I know some of you out there want to kill me because you've been like, hey, I need you to do the calibration. I want to make sure I'm doing this right. It's not that hard, but I'm going to tell you what you need. First of all, you're going to need your pH meter from Eric Hill, of course, which is right here. Make sure your batteries are installed. Open this. Take out the three solutions. Set them side by side. You got your four, your six, and your 9.18. And I think that six is 6.86. Put them somewhere that's nice and clean. Get a thing of paper towels. I have about three cups of distilled water. You want at least two cups of distilled water. And you're thinking, why? You're gonna rinse this off each time and you wanna rinse it with enough volume that you're not having to worry that you're really adjusting the pH too much in that amount of water from what the residue is from each of these. So each time you do one, the 4.0, which is gonna be starting calibration, then you're gonna rinse it off really good. Then you go into your 6.86, I believe, yep, and you rinse it off. And then your 9.18. Each of the solutions will take anywhere from about 30 seconds, sometimes to over a minute to calibrate. Super simple, but you do need to be patient. Patience, patience, patience. Okay, it's very, very simple. So what you're gonna do, and I'm gonna switch over and show you really close up and we're gonna do the whole thing. You're gonna need to make sure it's turned on. You're gonna make sure you hold the calibration until you see 4.00 and it'll say cal for calibrating. And we're gonna dip it in the solution. You'll get little pieces of pie up here right under around the letter H and K and those pies, you'll get four pieces. Now, if you get a couple pieces and it resets and goes away, don't worry. Just make sure you have it submerged. In your solution, you have more than you need. It's to accommodate over time. So you're gonna wanna put it in and kinda hold it up a little bit. If you put it too far, you're gonna spill some. That's where the paper towels come in handy. <laughs> so you're gonna hold it there. And if it resets, don't worry about it. Give it a minute, it'll start again. Once it goes to four pieces of pie, in your instructions, it's gonna say it's gonna spin. Most of the time it sits there for a minute, and I say a minute, it takes a few seconds after it gets to four pieces, and it goes away, and you'll see down below the next pH, and it'll say two, which means the next one. You'll take it out, you'll rinse it really good. Go for a good 10 seconds minimum. Rinse it really good. Go to the next one, hold it, wait. Eventually you'll get your pieces of pie, it'll finish, Repeat the process. When you get to the last one, the last one always seems to take a little longer. It'll keep going. It'll finally give you the pie. It'll say it's calibrated. It'll stop. You take it out. You want to rinse it in that distilled water for a full minute. Just keep going. Just keep going. It says to wipe it off. I'm okay with just putting it in a solution. My fear is that a paper towel or something could cause more damage. And from other instructions, I would stick to just don't touch it. Just make sure it's rinsed really well put it into the little tip and make sure if the tip is not wet that you add some more of the sensor solution, which is in here. Yeah, it comes with everything. Don't have to worry about it. And before we jump into the calibration, don't forget, like, subscribe, keep sharing. I definitely appreciate you and I appreciate watching. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna do a calibration. We're sitting at 5.39 and 69.9 Fahrenheit. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the calibration button down. There you go. Now. We're gonna stick it in the calibration liquid. You may spill some. I'm just gonna set it in there because mine's already been spilled. And there it goes. And this is gonna take some time, but it's gonna verify everything and we'll, you'll know when it's done. Keep watching up here towards the top. You're gonna to be looking for some pieces of pie and keep watching that the calibration is 4.00 that we're looking at. The liquid is of course 4.00, which I can slide back a little and let you see. There you go. And then I'm gonna bring it back forward to make sure you can see that pie. Okay, we have one piece of pie. We need four pieces. Yep, the reset. It's fine. That happens. There it goes again. One piece of pie. I found the less you move it, the better it seems to be. That way I'm not getting any kind of air bubbles or anything in it. There's a second piece.
third. Now it'll spin, but sometimes you won't see it spin because it'll just jump to the next pH. But keep watching. We've got three pieces of pie. We're gonna get four here in a moment. Here's the fourth piece of pie. There it goes, it went to 6.8. We didn't see the spin, that's fine. Don't put it in 6.8. Rinse it with some distilled water really good. Make sure you got it rinsed really, really good. And then put it in your 6.8. And this one I haven't spilled, so I'm gonna try not to spill it. There we go. And we're waiting for the pie. Here's our first piece. Second. Third. Fourth. So it's taking a little longer. And there we go. It's looking for 9.8. Remember? Rinse it. Rinse it really good. And distilled water. I have a large amount of distilled water just to avoid a problem. Now we're going to our 9.18 solution. Put it in. And mine's pretty full, so it's going to spill a little. And now we're waiting for the pie. The biggest thing here is just patience. It's very easy to do, but patience, that's the key. There it goes, starting to read it. Took considerably longer on the 9.18 for some reason. I haven't had this on previous calibrations, but that's okay. What did we say? Patience, there's our first piece of pie. Keep watching, we'll get our next piece of pie here shortly. Here's our second. Third, there's our fourth piece of pie, and we're going to wait for it to finish. And there we go. End. We're done. Remember to rinse it. It says to rinse it for a full minute. You can see it's bouncing around close to seven because it's uh, distilled water. It's had a little bit of influence. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. That was the temperature. It's eight. It's going down. Okay, and I already have some uh, solution in here for storage, so I'm going to put it in there, and I'm going to turn it off. Make sure you close these up. You're going to need them again. If they're wet, dry them off before you put them back in the storage container, of course. 
wash your hands since you have assets and bases on your hands basically I don't know there we go okay your pH meter should be calibrated now hopefully that was really easy I know the biggest thing was patience just simply patience if you do have a problem yes troubleshooting if you have a problem and you screw it up somewhere at four six or even at the 9.18 don't worry about it simply turn it off rinse it in that distilled water for a good minute start over it's not that hard and the first time is probably going to be the hardest because it's your first time <laughs> so not even going to go there yeah i'm just not going to go there at all don't forget like subscribe keep sharing and yeah eric hill ph meter super easy to calibrate great reliable i'm impressed so far i'm having fun with it and kind of playing with it more than i'm using it <laughs> i just want to make sure everything's good and everything's testing out properly and you know i like the product a lot and i know i'm kind of promoting the product so i want to make sure that if i'm promoting something that i know everything i can about it and on top of that it's a quality product which i'm impressed so far so thank you again for joining us here at bitter reality brewing and don't forget like subscribe keep sharing if you don't have a pH meter yet from Eric Hill, check occasionally if there's a deal going on. I'll try to update the description down below so that way you know there's a deal. You can go click on that. There's a link, of course. And yeah, cheers.